Welcome back. I'm starting on the lighting now. Uh, I'm using steel sheetrock track. Uh, so there are steel sheetrock studs that you can use. They're used a lot in commercial buildings. They have holes to let wiring and stuff be ran through them. This track doesn't have any holes. It's solid. So the idea is I'm going to take that and screw it on the wall right below the windows. Uh, if you've noticed the two high outlets in here, that's uh, going to actually power the lights. Those are hooked into the switch. So I run that all the way around and I put my Chinesium LED light strips in there. They're about 200 bucks for a 150 foot strip. They work really, really well. Um, if you saw back around Christmas, I put up a, a warranty claim video uh, with the company because power supply burned out on one. Uh, they sent me two power supplies. Uh, and so far it's been holding up. I haven't had any problem with it. I was able to put that one on that light strip and it's been working fine. Uh, so I'm real happy with the lights, assuming they keep going. If I burn another power supply out, I'll make my own full wave rectifier. It's just 100 volts DC, so not a big deal. That's easy enough to make and I'll make one that doesn't get super hot. This thing gets really, really hot. Uh, when I painted it, I tried out, uh, I saw these great big spray cans at the home store. Uh, turbo spray system, ah, four times faster. Uh, that means you waste four times more paint. Uh, <laughs> it, the product does what it's supposed to do. It gets you to buy more paint, I, I would say. Um, it only took me maybe two or three minutes to empty that entire can. What was that, 24 ounces? Um, now, I painted four of these really, really fast, but that's all I painted. Uh, with this, with a 12 ounce can, I'm painting five to six of them. Uh, I think this would work great if you had a big sheet of plywood or something. It says four large projects. Uh, something this small and the, the paint comes out just so fast even with these little gaps in between it just it went all over the floor down here uh, so I, I like it and I like the spray pattern but yeah there you go it says uh ah oh man come on camera where did it go there it is 10 inch fan spray so yeah it's definitely at least a 10 inch wide I think it was like more than that so and for something like this, if you get close enough for it to work, it just orange peels real bad. So uh, I got my little corners cut out here. So these will fit into the wall here. So if this is one wall here, so then imagine there's a light going this way. So that'd be the inside corner and then another light going that way. So that's the plan with that. Those will all get screwed together onto the tracks to tie everything together. So this is my corner, so I'm leaving a gap in the back, and then I want it, also wanted to do the chamfer so that the light doesn't have to bend as sharply, because I want the strip pointing up, and it really doesn't 
turn ladder laterally very well, but this should give it enough room to turn around the corner. And then I got room to get my trim behind there and all that. Basically what I'm doing, I had planned for this when I started the sheeting that I'm basically straddling this one seam here. So that's the only cut seam in the plywood in the building. Um, well, the hor only horizontal one where it didn't quite match up, but that was intentional. So I could get the top and the bottom where I wanted them. And since I knew this crack was going here, it would cover up any issues I had. Looking pretty good. Right now I'm only putting two screws at these joints. I might do more, but I don't know if I need it. And at least right now I'm getting kind of low on screws. So I want to be able to get all this up today if I can. Another attachment point. I'm not too worried about how it looks here. Just can't see that from the ground anyway. right on so nice and level good getting a few minor surface scratches on the paint I expected that I just go around with a little artist brush. You can just spray a bunch of the paint right into the cap. Makes a convenient little bowl. I haven't decided whether I'll paint the screws yet or not. They don't look bad. It's 
Kind of something you'd expect. Everything's screwed together. Alright, so the first thing I'm going to do is fold this end in so I don't see the light exposed at the end of the light track. I just bought new tin snips. I've never used new tin snips before. Wow, they work good. If you hate tin snips, try some new ones. And then I got the seam bender. Which has got little graduations on it. So you can see how far you're actually into the jaw. I like this thing. I never never even knew these existed until I saw it in the store yesterday. I mainly got it because I wanted to be able to make bends, or, or sorry, not make bends, but flatten out anywhere that I did need a bend. Because this corner is a little messed up here. So you can squeeze it and flatten it out. And I, on some of these, the ends are a little messed up, so you're able to flatten them out. That's nice. Using my non marring hammer. <laughs> there, everything's flattened out real nice the way I wanted it. Good enough. You ain't gonna see any different on, from the ground. Now I gotta cut a notch for this outlet down here. that other thing that seaming tool is good for tightening up these folds nice tight fold didn't muss up my paint any All right, now for the best part. I'm gonna go pick up the light and put it in here.
not on the ground anymore. That's awesome. Now, one thing I did anticipate being up on the ceiling in this track instead of on the floor, things are a bit darker. I've got a solution for that. Two. Overcast and rain today. Neat. The lighting is up. At least as far as I'm doing right now. So the way it's set up, I have two light circuits on two switches. Each one runs an outlet. That outlet gets two strips that go opposite directions. So right above the center section here, there is an outlet. You can just barely see it. It's a tiny little black dot right above the track there. Um, so when I turn that switch on, I get light running all the way around the shop, both directions. And then there's two circuits, so for the load, um, I don't overload any switch, and then I'm running, gonna run, when I'm done, two strips in either direction. I've only got three running right now. So that circuit is one switch. The other one starts down there right above the, to the left of the walk door and the window. And then there's another outlet over in the corner to the left of the last big window up there. Eventually, this track will run all the way down there and then there'll be another strip plugged in there and coming back that way. So that outlet and that one are on uh, the same switch. I'm not, I didn't want to run it around the door and over the, the windows over there because if I put lights over there, it's gonna be uh, greenhouse lights for the plants. Let's see, that pointing worked good. That other outlet's right there. So it goes up and around the garage door over here. That's not what I originally planned on. I was just gonna go up and then straight across over there by the springs. But the way the door opens up, I don't have the clearance to make that work. So I just came all the way around the door and frankly, I like it. It works really good. Uh, it's a nice bright spot here on the floor too. If I was working on a car or something, this would be a, a real good place to do it. Um, I had originally planned, um, I cut out some, uh, I got lenses for like fluorescent office lights, those two by four plastic panels. I cut pieces of the width of the track to put in the track here so I didn't have to look at the light uh, because I was expecting the lights to be pointing out and I don't, the whole point of this track is I don't looking at, looking directly at point source light. Uh, but this works really good. This is all reflected light and that's fine. So I may not mess with that, but I got to get that strip tied up in there. So that plastic might actually help me with that because that strip's just kind of hanging out. It's actually part way out of the uh, track there because it's just hanging right now. So that strip again that'll go all the way down to that other outlet well but that won't happen until all the house remodels done so that's it i'm real happy i got lights off the floor <laughs>